Hello everyone, this is AV Creative. I hope you're all good. Now I had so many requests for another lady and I've been thinking what type of lady can I make? And I think I've decided to do a galaxy woman this time. Now I was going to to cut out a shape out of contact paper but I realized I haven't got any left. So I'm going to do something my way and I started covering uh, baking paper with some scotch tape and hopefully that will work like a sort of homemade contact paper. This is the, the old template I made for uh, my firewoman and my tree woman and I'm just thinking where to position her. I want her to have some nice hair and the galaxy to kind of be pouring. Just sketch her somewhere here. The 12 by 12 canvas, that's the size, it's the same size as the previous sisters. Just sketching gently with a pencil. The only part that you have to be super careful is the just the face. I do want her to have some nice, lovely long hair. And the whole section here, I really want it to be very sort of all hair flowing this way. So what's the plan? Because I'm, I'm trying to make each woman in a different way. So another experiment today. So what we want now, I am not going to use the template, just, just her face as a template. I am going to use the outside. So therefore I have to cut out really carefully, I have to sort of cut into the middle and cut carefully to preserve the, the outside because I want to pour just in here. Okay, let's see how that goes. <laughs> okay, so while I'm happily cutting, you may get yourself a cup of tea or coffee. And as I said, if I make a mistake here around the hair, it doesn't really matter. Actually took me much, much, much quicker. It's probably like three minutes. Okay, I have to change this part a bit because I want to cut her face as well. So I need to join the hair somewhere up to here. I will keep this template, of course, because I might use it for uh, another painting and just with a different technique. At the moment, this is my outline. So now this is the part I have to be super careful if I want her face to look nice, not have a strange expression. So what we have, we've got this template that I will definitely use at some point, so I'm putting it away. Don't need it anymore. That's what I need. And this. So it's time to stick these pieces down. So that's where I want my face. Should be easy with baking paper, hopefully. I haven't tried before. But yeah, all that comes super easy. So this is my personal stencil. Just want to be sure that she's in the right place. Okay. Yes. It may look like quite a lot of preparation, but honestly, looking at, at my watch, that didn't take that, that long. I'm only putting it gently because I might change position ever so slightly. Okay. I might even flip her over and make sure she's really, really well stuck. Using a hairdryer makes the tape adhere better. I've decided to protect the face a bit more and I'm just going to use a brush and a tiny bit of light paint. It doesn't matter which color, but this is pearl lilac, quite nice, I think. Hopefully the paint will prevent my pore from leaking underneath. That's the whole idea. I'm not going to do it all around the hair, just the face. I did mention that I'm going to make some floating cups. 
but to just have more fun i am making those little cups myself and i'm making them transparent so you can see the paint layers i thought they would look pretty cool so basically i cut a bit of plastic i am just joining it with sellotape maybe a bit smaller this will be a really tiny floating cup and i'm just taping i haven't done it before as you know i usually say that but i love experiments yeah i think two is probably enough for this part and then the other section so these are the paints i'm going to use so first of all the background will be mars black then i'll have a mixture of pearl electric blue pearl amaranth red ultramarine blue pearl lilac a bit of magenta i've got the leftover magenta tiny bit and silver and if you want to watch me mixing the paints there's a section at the end of each of my videos i'm just going to show you the consistency which is the most important thing so it runs off the stick can you see that there's a tiny tiny build up i was just wondering whether i need any silicone or not but since most of you are very very fond of lots of cells i'm just going to put one drop of silicone in this case i'm using a coconut hair serum just one drop into my lilac mix and that will do mixing really well because i don't want any big cells i want them tiny first i'm applying a layer of black to all the exposed sections so i haven't done a lady this way before now time to layer my paint i could have layered it in a cup and then just flip over but i thought it would be much more exciting for everybody especially you if you see actually me layering the paint in an open cup so let's just put it one here and the baby one somewhere here Oops. okay and i'm ready to layer the paint so let me start with a bit of this uh, deep blue now the lighter electric blue now let's add a bit of white oh i should have actually added the black around it tiny bit of this amaranth red purple a bit of lilac more blue a bit of magenta can you see the paint dripping underneath actually it adheres really well to the to the bottom so it doesn't really drip that much oh i forgot i've got a bit of silver and that's probably ready to be really oh it's floating look 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 it's releasing the paint how cool is that okay i think i'm going to actually layer this one now it doesn't matter how you layer the paints i'm just trying to do this side slightly different as long as i remember it's slightly different uh, okay a bit of electric blue oh i forgot about the white yes we need some white i think we are ready for the release okay just... i'm just dragging it a bit here oh. okay let's put it away and this one oh i don't want to spoil it oh well well there's not enough black paint at the bottom so i will have to add two more cups i don't like this section it's too much is happening here there are definitely too many cells for my liking galaxy doesn't look like that so i am going to pour over some of the areas well i'm tilting and tilting it hoping that i'm covering all the section of the hair because now i can't actually see uh, where the bits are so uh, well, at the moment well it's a mystery but let's just hope it's going to work so we are less than 24 hours later this is strangely it's almost dry just some patches and time to reveal 
Oh gosh, I'm a bit apprehensive. There will be some imperfections, but that's okay because I'm going to... I don't recommend doing it when it's still wet. I mean half wet. Because the paint is kind of um, like stretchy. It's neither wet nor dry. So it'd be much better if I waited. Well, so I managed to peel the, the outside and I'm just going to emphasize it again. Just please wait till it's dry. Uh, but at, at least at the moment I can show you how I'm removing some of the patches. So I'm going to use nail polish remover. I'm just trying to take some of the paint off. As I said before, I am going to paint the background and I was always planning to paint the background. So it doesn't matter too much, but I'm just taking bits off. I'm still a bit worried. Uh, I'm not going to peel the, the mid part yet. I'm going to paint the outside and wait for the middle to be a bit drier. <laughs> yeah, I think that's enough. I'm going to paint the background uh, silver, I think, because that will go nicely with the sort of uh, space theme. I just went over with white just a bit around and now I've got my silver. And I'm basically covering all the background with silver. And I think I'll probably have to do two layers using a bigger brush outside. And then I'm going to choose a really small one to go around uh, her hair. I will leave it to dry and then I'll apply a second layer. First layer is dry, so I'm just lifting up this mid part somehow. The middle part is peeled off now and I just went over with white. Now I'm going to do the second layer of silver and cover her with silver as well. Once you apply the second layer, the silver should be really, really nice and opaque. I keep changing brushes because I want it really, really soft. So now I'm using my actually makeup brush because I, I don't want any marks left. So yes, it's a bit of painting around, but it's quite therapeutic. Now with her face, I was thinking first maybe to paint it silver as well, but now I think I'm going to probably mix white and silver and just make it a bit lighter than the background. So this side is going to be lighter. Oh, by the way, uh, I really am really thankful for all your suggestions. And if you want to see different women and I don't know, just running out of ideas so it'd be, it'd be great if you could let me know in the comment or some other ideas it doesn't have to be a woman i'm just adding a bit of shadows with the silver because i really didn't want her so 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 pale i always keep acrylic skins because you never know what you might need them and these are so useful now because i am planning I'm planning planets. <laughs> As I mentioned, I'm going to add a few planets. So I already cut out quite a few and I've been sort of trying which ones I like most and which ones will look good with, with my lady. So I think I've decided I'm going to add three. One this kind of interesting blue and green one somewhere here there's a smaller one that's going to be stuck i'm stacking i'm putting them on sections that i'm not too fond of and also when it's too dark like this one i think this is quite pretty forgive me my <laughs> dirty fingers uh it's like a real moon but i thought i'm going to add a tiny i just use a whole puncher for this one I'm going to add a tiny moon to this planet as well I got this idea for those planets from uh, my previous, my own video. I did a space pour once and there was, I was teaching someone how to, how to use pouring acrylics for the first time. And I quite liked the result. You can see it. There's a, there'll be a link there if you want to have a look. And I really, really enjoyed adding the planets. We also added then, we added uh, spaceships. I'm not going to do it now. I'm using the same uh, PVA glue I add to my pouring mix. 
tiny tiny moon <laughs> made from I use the whole bancher okay I think it's getting better now but I'm not finished yet I'll be adding some shadows to the planets and some stars to make a planet look realistic we have to make it light on one side and dark on the other so I'm just going to add a bit of white I'm trying to add like really really white strip the very edge of the planet this is the time that the spray spray paint gun would be absolutely perfect but unfortunately I don't have one okay I think I managed to lighten up the sign no I might use a Posca pen just to create a really thin white line and now I will add a darker shadow to the other side of the planet time for some stars I could flick a um, dry brush I don't want the paint to go all over so maybe just a few stars like this my other ladies didn't have any facial features but I think with this one I'm going to give her uh, an eye and maybe even an eyebrow it's always the first time I'm just going to make a thin line oops and then go over with with a brush and now for the final piece for a close-up but let's just start from here you can see the planets and the stars the little cells I really wonder what you think of me adding the features I'm really looking forward to your comments and suggestions for future paintings as well well I hope you enjoyed the process if you did don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel and you join me on Saturday when my videos premiere so I can chat to you, you can ask me questions also I'm uploading a short vertical a 60 second tutorial every Wednesday so that you can get a quick midweek creative boost well thank you so much for watching bye bye well I make my own pouring medium which is half water half PVA glue uh, another name for PVA glue would be Elmer's glue or wood glue. Then I mix my pouring medium with paint, two thirds of medium, one third paint. In the end, I add a dash of floetrol, which constitutes 10 to 20% of the total volume. Now this is the right consistency for most of the pouring techniques that I do. When the stream goes down, it's a tiny, tiny build-up, disappears quickly. I call it the runny honey consistency. 